Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and I am a full-time reseller over on mainly Poshmark. I do sell sometimes like on Mercari and Facebook Marketplace, but my main source of income from reselling comes from Poshmark. I do have two closets on there. I have a uh, 5 or 25 closet and then I have like my higher end closet, which everything is way more expensive. Um, and today I have another, another Goodwill bins haul for you guys. Um, I went right after I dropped off my kids. So I was there at opening at 8 a.m. And I was there until 9.14 is the time that I checked out. Now, usually in that time frame, I would find closer to like 40 pounds. But today it was like, even though they had a lot of rotations, it just wasn't good rotations. Everything was like Target. Walmart and I don't mind those brands but it was just not what I was looking for today so I only got 25.6 pounds and I paid uh 41.10 after tax so let's get into this haul let me show you guys everything that I got now everything that I got is going to my more expensive closet as well as um some stuff for my kids I shop for my kids mostly secondhand it's just um, you know, how you save money as a mom. So first piece that I have is this little vintage dress. And I've talked about this before. This is just Jody Michaels. I've talked about this before regarding vintage clothes, but I literally will only pick up vintage clothes if it's something super unique or something that would be found in stores today. So this is just like this little, uh, purple floral print fully buttoned down little mini dress and it has like a lace up back I don't know if you guys can see that um, but this is something that I would see at Urban Outfitters nowadays so that's why I picked it up this will probably sell I'll probably list this for around $30 next up I have a pair of Ann Taylor pants these are a size small and they are like faux leather in the front and knit in the back now I have found these in the past before and sometimes they are um, like snake sheepskin sheepskin or like fake or real leather in the front these are not but these are still cute especially for the fall and winter coming up so I will list these for $28 this is another vintage piece but I have to show you guys how cute this is. So it's cache, it's a size small, but look at how beautiful this is. It's like a little mini halter neck dress. And for some reason I thought that this was like leather. It's just like a super thick material. It does have a couple spots in the front, but I'll just clean that off. Um, but this is gonna sell super well. It's just rayon, acetate, and lycra. So it does have some stretch in it and it zips down the back, but super cute. This is like totally 80s and 90s. And this is a good brand when you find vintage. Um, I'll probably list this for around $75, I believe. Okay, uh, this is Torrid, sorry. Torrid, size four. Brand new with tags. I found a couple of these. These were $49.50 brand new. They're black mesh embroidered pull-on shorts. And so they literally are just as described. So um, there is, I thought I saw a little bit of wear to these. Like, no, maybe that was just my imagination. Um, I'll probably list these for like $30, $35. Found a torrid bra here torrid again new with tags this is a size 3x and this didn't have a price but this was just a bralette and it's a blue or purple fully like lace unlined bra and it has like the torrid all the way around like the band and the strap so I'll list that probably for around 30 these are torrid as well. These were not brand new with tags, and it's the first piece that I found in that bin where all this torrid came from. These are a 4X, and they're just like a floral print shorts as well, and they have like the little ruffle hem. 
I'll list these probably at like 32. This is Bar 3, which is just a Nordstrom house brand. But the style of this was so cute. It's like smocked. It's gingham. It has like uh, little tiered bell sleeves. And I think this is supposed to be worn off the shoulder. So I will list this 25-ish. This is Chico's size zero, which I believe is zero petite. I believe that's a large. No, no, that's a small. I believe that could be a small, but it is linen, I believe. Let's see here. Coco, yep, 100% linen. It's just this light blue, like button down shirt, just a classic linen or Chico's piece. I'll list that for 30. More plus size over here. This is just Lane Bryant. I'm sorry if you guys hear my dog in the back. She likes to destroy everything. Um, this is an 1820 and it's this maroon piece with gold threading, but it's also, oh, nope, never mind. This is going straight to the trash. I never check my pieces at the outlet. I just like to go, I buy, I've gotten really good at it. So maybe only one or two pieces if that are ever, um, are ever damaged and need to go be trashed. This is Intimately Free People. This is an extra small small and it's just the little short sleeve knit bodysuit. I will list this for $20. This is one of the kids pieces that I was talking about. It is crew cuts. It's a size seven. I just really like the style of this. I think this might be a little dress, but Yep, 100% cotton. I just thought that the style of it was really cute and it is from summer 2017. I think this might just go in Penelope's little bin for next summer. This would be super cute for her. I'm gonna throw that over there. This is another Penelope piece. Look at how cute this is. It's just art class, which is Target, but it's a size seven, eight. I don't think it'll fit her this year, but it's like a little teddy coat open front jackets like long line she is gonna die for that this was a style base pickup um this was in a pile of somebody's throwbacks which is fine with me button up striped midi dress with waist tie it's a size large okay cc bella boutique so it's a boutique brand it's just this it's fab love fab, fab, fab love. Lux, Fab Lux fashion. <laughs> and it's just tan and white striped, just like it said, button down midi dress. It is lined, it has pockets in the front, and it has a waist tie. So this was definitely a style based pickup, but style dresses like this will all probably sell for about $30. Next up is one of my favorite things to sell, which is Urban Outfitter dresses. This is, I believe, their newer brand or their newer tag just says Urban Outfitters and it is a size medium, but look at how freaking cute this is. Okay, so it's blue and white striped. It's almost like a baby doll style. It has like the little flutter sleeves with the little back and it also could like can tie right there. List this for $30. Okay, this is Vintage Express. Look at how old this tag is size medium but it is this floral print wrap skirt like a true wrap skirt so that's how it goes excited to get this listed i'll probably list that for about 35 ish another urban outfitters little mini dress this is just kimchi blue it's a size two and i believe i've sold this dress before and it sold pretty well but i actually sold this before in my 5 for 25 closet this time it's going to go in my regular closet and I'm pretty sure I could list this for about 28 ish. It's just the super strappy, very, very tiny little mini dress and it zips down the back. So 28 to 32 for that one. This is another Urban Outfitters piece. It is a little cold shoulder. This is a dress or a romper. Nope, this was a romper, so 
It's just cold shoulders. It has like the little flutter on the shoulders. Look at how cute this is. List this for about $30 as well. This is Pink Blush, which Pink Blush is like one of those blogger maternity or brands that those bloggers are always endorsing. And this is a maternity brand and it's a gray knit maxi dress and it's ruched on the side. So I'll probably list this for about 30 bucks. Um, this is also for Penelope. Look at how cute this is. It's just H&M, but it's like a little sweater dress, like layered underneath. So she's going to love that. Victoria's Secret bra. This kind of just reminded me like the quintessential pink striped. Um, it's the Body by Victoria lined perfect coverage and it's a 36 double D. Another torrid piece. And this is the super soft plush and it's a zero here, which I believe is a medium. And it's just this like gray little v-neck shirt. Still lists up for about 25. What are you over here? Oh, okay, this is Jane and Delancey, which Jane and Delancey is a brand that is sold in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, places like that. But I watched McThrifty, McThrift Z, and she always talks about how like novelty prints do really well for her in this brand, or like very like cute prints. So I thought that this like floral print was quintessential autumn. Um, it's just a little button down shirt. So I'm going to test that theory out on this shirt and see how well it does. This is just American Eagle. It's a size large. I believe this is men's, but it's just a little black and white plaid flannel. Again, fall time. I saw this and I already knew what it was. Missoni. For Target, it is a kids brand, but like, look at how cute this is. It's a little hoodie. So I'll list this probably for about twenty-ish. Mm, I'll have to run some comps. This is just for Edward. It's a little Cat and Jack T-shirt. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is Mason Jewels, which I believe is sold at Dillard's and Macy's. But this was a style based pickup. Look at how freaking cute this dress is. It like has the bow in the front and then the flounce hem is my favorite and the print is so pretty. So I'll list this probably for about 25 to 28. These are Wild Fable, which is just Target, but I will list these for $20. They are a size four and they are the high rise skinny, but they are super distressed. And I know somebody is going to love these and pay me for them because people know what fits them. This is just a little good vibes only hat for myself that I need to wash. Okay, now this is old school. I guess you could call it vintage now. Just kidding. Anthro, it's Odile, it's a size 10, but look at how beautiful this is. It gave me like Bridgerton vibes. It's a pale blue crushed velvet button down little blazer. How stinking cute is that? I'll probably list that for $45. More jeans. These are just PacSun and these are the mom jean. Yep. Just the mom jean in a size 28. Just your quintessential like faded black jeans. This was something that I was super excited to find and it was brand new with tags. It is Skims and it's nothing like super exciting. At least I don't think it's a size extra small. Retailed for $32 and they're like little boxer shorts, I think. But I think these might be men's, women's, I don't know. I'll have to do some research. Like I said, it was my first time finding that brand. This is just Altered State, but I've talked about this before. I love picking up their dresses. They do very well for me. It's a size small, and look at how beautiful this is. It's like a blue and white striped, like fit and flare dress, and it ties in the back. Oh my dear Lord, okay. It ties in the back, I just didn't tie it, and it also has pockets, and it's fully lined. So I'll list that for about 28. This was another style base pickup. It's Sky and Sparrow. 
which I'm not sure where this is sold at, but it like gave me very 90s vibes. It's like almost like a little gingham slip dress. Super cute. This is just American Eagle. It is a size small. It's a super pretty like bohemian printed romper, like paisley print. It, it's smocked in the front. Super pretty. Okay, I found a couple of these from Adore Me. The first one is like for sure lingerie. Like this is not even a bra. I don't think anybody could like wear this out in public as a bra, but it's definitely lingerie. It's strappy and it's lacy and it has a cutout and it's a size 34C. Okay, next up I have a pair of American Eagle shorts. I know it is fall time, it doesn't matter. People will always be looking for shorts year round. These are just the midi shorts and the light wash. More American Eagle, this is a new tag and these are the Kirby Super High Rise Flare Jeans. They are distressed, distress me and it has their legs so I'll probably list this for about 30 35 ish this is another altered state piece and I think this might actually be my favorite one it's a size medium look how pretty this is it's like a trapeze style purple lace dress mini sleeveless super pretty gives me like Jackie O vibes for some reason this is just Vince Camuto, which I don't normally pick up anymore. It's a size large, but I do like the embroidered um, collar. It's blue and white striped, buttoned down. We have a pair of Hudson jeans. They're size 26. They're black. Um, no distressing or anything, but they do have a raw hem. So I will list those for 30-ish. Hudson does not do as well as it used to do. This is just another piece for Little Miss Penelope. It's art class, size 7, 8. It's a little maxi dress, so definitely for next summer because this is kind of long on her right now. But I love the floral print on that. More plus size. These are Lane Bryant, which I've talked about it before, but like finding good condition career wear plus size pieces is hard. And these are a pair of like olive green dress pants with like a cuffed leg. So I'll probably list those for about 35. This is just a boutique brand. This is Entro, which is a size medium. It's smogged, little cold shoulder, little mini dress. It has like lace in the front and then it has like sheer, lace, sheer lace sleeves. Last few items here. We have a cup she, brand new with tags, size medium. It's just some like tropical bikini bottoms. This is another piece for Penelope that she might only get to wear one time. So I have to wash this, maybe put this on her this week. It's just Cat and Jack, size 5T, little denim romper, but like look at the back. Super stinking cute. This is J. Crew, size 8, and it's just like a little faux wrap or cross front blush pink blouse, zips down the side. This is Carbon 38. Is this a brand I think that is sold at Revolve? I have to do some research, but it's just a little like cropped sports bra, and it's, I don't know. Oh, snake skin like that sheen is almost like a snake skin print last piece is here this is pink Victoria's Secret I don't know if this is like pajama or a swimsuit cover up but I did like the print of it it's like very early 2000s that's why I picked it up and then the last clothing piece I think yep the last clothing piece is going to be this Adore Me bra. Again, 34B, and this one is actually like a bra. <laughs> it's nude and black. And these Adore Me pieces, um, I list anywhere from like $18 to $25, depending on the style and the size and stuff. This one, I will probably just list for $18. The other one, I'll probably list for like $25, just because it was like lingerie. 
Um, I found this little purse thing. It says Stone & Co. Never heard of it. But it was like brand new with tags. And then this goes in it. So it has like the little button thing on the back to attach this to it. And it's just a little wristlet. And I thought the colors were cute. The condition was great. Um, I also found this like little pearl bracelet. Which I think is just going to be for me. Yeah, this will fit me. Super pretty. It's almost like vintage -y. There's no markings on it. And last but not least, I found two bags of Legos. This obviously came out of some set, a very large set, because this is bag seven and this is bag two. So um, I looked in that bin and the bin surrounding it, trying to see if there was any more Lego or the box or anything. There wasn't, but I will just give these to my kid and he will be excited. So that was all. If you guys enjoy hauls and... Um, yeah, if you guys enjoy hauls, <laughs> please make sure you hit this like or like subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really helps me out a lot. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.